I have confidence because I have faith. And faith is not striving and trying to believe. Faith is actually believing. Faith is actually knowing. I know without a shadow of a doubt that I am God's. I know without the shadow of a doubt that I belong to Jesus. I know that I'm his child. I'm confident in who I'm in Christ. That's faith. So faith is tangible. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the tangibility of our hope, the certainty of what we don't see. I don't see Jesus with my physical eyes, but I am more certain than I ever have been in my whole life that He lives in me, that He loves me, that I am His, that I am endued with power, that He is not ashamed to call me His sister. That I am God's daughter. But I didn't get this revelation by sticking my nose in a book. I got this revelation by humbling myself, getting before God, getting real with Him, and asking Him to help me by trusting Him. Jesus is the only one that can do this, and He does it by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have confidence because I have faith. Faith is not striving and trying to believe. Faith is actually believing. Faith is actually knowing. I know without a shadow of a doubt that I am God's. I know without the shadow of a doubt that I belong to Jesus. I know that I'm his child. I'm confident in who I'm in Christ. That's faith. If you're in a place where you don't know and you're struggling to believe scriptural truths in here, the thing to not do is go, I believe, I believe, I believe. It's striving and it's your own strength. The thing to do is in humility say, God, I don't have faith. I need help. If Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith, certainly is everything in between. We can't have faith without him giving it to us, if he's the author of it, right? So, what's wrong with getting humble before God and saying, God, I don't have faith, please give it to me. What's wrong with getting humble before God and saying, God, I don't have the forgiveness in my heart for this injustice done against me. What's wrong with saying, God, I don't have love in my heart for you. I love these video games. I love this social media. I love this addiction more than I love you. God, help me. That is the humility that God can work with. That is where he touches us. He abhors the pride, but he gives grace to the humble. If you humble yourself before God, get real with him, be honest with him, and ask him for help, he will lift you up in honor. If you seek him in the secret, he rewards you in the open, and that reward is with himself.